Now, would you all agree, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to regurgitate something that drives me absolutely bananas. In the last many, many years, I have heard ad nauseum, we must enhance the customer experience. Everybody's saying the same thing, and a lot of people haven't defined what that is. They all keep saying, we must enhance the customer experience, and they're saying it so much, the word's losing its meaning. So why not take a look at the customer experience through the customer's eyes? There's a novel concept, which is why I said, let's return to value versus price, just change the lens of what we're trying to achieve. Now, would you agree that where we have been, where we are, and where we are going, the conversation is now changing with our customer? We are due to reach full saturation of wireless devices in 2014. That's 100% saturated. There are countries in Europe that are 118% saturated. Apparently, their dogs have devices. You know, a couple years ago, it was all about, let's just clerk it, because gross activations was our metric. And now it's about customer service. It's about following up with the customer. It's about hardware upgrades. That's more of our language now. The conversation's changing. Are you aware of the conversations that people are having, the customers are having in their head? Right? Do we get that? OK. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to have four people stand up. And it'll be you four, because you guys wore the craziest outfits I've ever seen in my life. Four of you come up. Did you guys see them last night? Yeah, cool stuff. I mean, they brought it. Would you agree? Just give them love for that. OK. Stand in a line right here. So in line, single file this way, facing that way. OK? Now, I need to, I need to do an HR check. I'm going to be doing this on your back. Now, I'm not going to, like, <laughs> I'm going to do this. Okay. Now, the reason I'm doing that is you need to open your mouth, but I'm going to be talking behind you. So you just have to kind of go with what you think I'm going to say, and you're just, you're just mimicking. I'm just like a ventriloquist. Okay? So here's the customers that we face today. Fair enough? Okay, here's one. Um, uh, my daughter would like a phone, but I don't want her to have a plan that's too many minutes, because I don't want her to text. and I, want, I want, just want her to be safe. Okay, that's one customer we have. Okay. Here's another one. Yeah, yeah, I want the 3.5 gigahertz, definitely, definitely four RAM, de 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 definitely, I want the device that has all, yeah, de Rain, Rain Man, right? We have that person, tech geek. Here's another one. Um, like, you know, um, my um, uh, friend has like an iPhone, and uh, I want one because he, he has one too, yeah. <laughs> Here's this one. No thanks, I'm just looking. Is that fair to say? I know I, obviously I probably cut a few corners and you have more customers than just that. You do have customers that say, I love coming into your store because you say hi, you make it a warm experience, and I'm looking for a relationship and you've given me that. Well, can we also say that's a customer we have to? We have to celebrate that we're okay. We don't, not all of our customers are evil, although some of them are, okay? Well, let's talk about this right now. The main thing that I want you to see here, the first stop in our journey of the customer's mindset is there's a decision made to buy something. When they show up at the store, they want something. That's the first step. I mean, no one gets in their car and just drives aimlessly and says, I think I'll drive north for four miles and see what's in front of me. Who has that kind of time? And no one walks in the store saying, <laughs> I just turned left and your door was in the way. If they want something, if they show up, and I love the fact that you do, don't you have the person, no thanks, I'm just looking, and don't you just want to punch them in the face and say, seriously, why are you here then? By the way, punching in the face, mark that off as a note, that's not actually a good thing to do with your customers. Job altering.